Introductions! Wait a minute, let's just wipe this camera off a bit. Ah, that's better, isn't it? Tasty 4K footage. Excellent. How about that for an upgrade? So today we're going to be talking about how to introduce your essay. And to guide us through this process in the background is going to be the overture to an opera called The Marriage of Figaro by none other than Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. So let's get that started and let's get thinking about how to write an introduction. Right, so you may be asking, why have I got all these ingredients in front of me and a mixing bowl? Well, I thought that writing an introduction is kind of like making a cake at home. You don't have to do it, but if you do, your life will be all the tastier for it, and your essay will be too. Let's get started then with thinking about the ingredients for a good introduction. You must make sure that you use the words of the question in your essay. They should be your flour, in other words, because if you don't have any flour in a cake, it will never rise, particularly if it's Marks and Spencer's self-raising flour, the brands are available, it's going to be a good quality cake. Similarly, your introduction, if it includes words of the question in it, is going to be focused on that question and therefore is going to be more likely to entice the reader in to your excellent argument that awaits in your essay. Why should you include different sides of the debate in your introduction? Well, your essay should not be a, your introduction, sorry, should not be a drum roll for what's coming up, but it should already show the reader some shape or resemblance of what your argument is all about. So if you're introducing the different sides of your argument, your different kind of paragraph headings in your introduction, then that's going to be a good way to, again, lure the reader in, because this is going to be the first thing they are going to read. All right, so we've finished our mixing now, and we're gonna think now about the most important thing that you can put in your essay, the thing that's really gonna spice it up. Here's a bit of cinnamon, can you smell it? it smells nice, doesn't it? This is going to be your line of argument. Your line of argument is the most important thing you can put in your introduction, and the reason for that is that this is the whole purpose of writing it. It's going to show the reader what exactly you are going to be arguing and this will soon be ready for the oven. Okay, that's been about 25 minutes now, so we don't want our introduction to be too long. So let's make sure that um, we get it out before it overstays as well. Okay then, 30 seconds to talk you through this model introduction. Well, the question is the same question as the one that I've used in my essay planning video, which is referenced here. You can read through this if you pause the video, but what I'm gonna do for you is highlight the key areas that I'd like you to pick out. So here I've dealt with the key factors in the essay and I've used the words of the question. Ideological differences, the thing I'm starting off with. I've talked about the spread of communism, another factor. The USA's response to this, the third factor. And the fourth one, the fact that the, the both sides withheld knowledge from each other during the Second World War. In red, I've highlighted words which show my line of argument. The fact that ideological differences played a big role, a major role in increasing tension. They were exacerbated, they were made worse by the spread of communism. And there was also an underlying factor. So this is showing the reader what I'm going to be arguing in my essay and just coming in at a really strong angle of attack and showing them from the very beginning what I'm all about. I'm gonna go off now to eat one of my rather flat rock cakes. Hopefully your essay introduction won't come out as flat as these, and in fact I'm sure it's going to be a masterpiece. Before we go, one last fact on Mozart's Marriage of Figaro. If you go and watch the opening act, you'll see the singer singing about the measurements to their bedroom. Very interesting. Go and have a watch. I'll see you next time on Mr Keat in the Classroom.